Okay, first and foremost, what I want to tell you is this is going to be one of the most impactful videos that I've ever made when it comes to dating, female nature, and ultimately how to see if the woman that you're with is quality and will help aid in your life and in your mission and in your purpose as a high value man or not. As crazy as it might sound, because I know I've made hundreds of these videos, you have to pay attention to this one. Okay. Not only that, there's two parts to this. So you have to stick with me until the end. If you stick with me until the end, I'm going to show you how to avoid this trap and I'm even going to show you how to spot it at a deeper level. But in order for me to deliver this message to you, here's what you have to know going into this. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, okay? So if you're committed to learning, okay, you're committed to your own masculinity journey, and you're especially committed to truth, I want you to comment the word truth right below this video. Because that shows me and it shows yourself that you're willing to take one step forward to actually achieve the lifestyle of a full stack, one percenter, full stack man. Okay, that's important. Comment the word truth below. Now, when to ignore a woman that you're dating, when to start to exit that relationship and what to look for. Okay, there's two parts to this, so stay with me until the end. The first thing you have to look for, okay, write this down on a sheet of paper because most guys don't see it and I'm going to tell you why. When you're dating, okay, I've wrote this down word for word. When you have closed off S3X, okay, you have closed off S3 actual access, okay, with other women, meaning you're not sleeping with anybody else, you're not entertaining any other partners, let's say, okay, you're not intimate with any women in bed, okay, besides your girl or the, the woman that you're seeing, besides the, the girl you're dating, maybe it's your exclusive girlfriend, okay, when you've closed that off okay when you've closed off s3 number three because I, I ain't beating around the algorithm a little bit here so to speak okay when you've closed off that access but she has not closed off attention from other men this is when you need to start to exit and i'm going to explain why men today what i have noticed do not understand the true balance that needs to be in place between attention and intimacy okay between att attention and intimacy, it needs to be an equal exchange of investment. If you notice that you're, the girl that you're seeing or the girl that you're dating is still open for business, okay, is still actively seeking for attention, here's what you have to know. There's three things you have to know. Number one, in her mind, her hypergamy radar is going off. And on a deep down level, she feels as if you are not the best that she can do. That's what you have to know. Number one, she feels as if she can possibly do better. And that's why she's still open for business. Okay. Number two, what attention actually means to a woman is that they are susceptible to potentially being hit to, to being hit on. Okay. To having guys approach them. If they're open for business and they're open for attention, they're actively seeking attention. Okay. This could be scandalous pictures in the mirror. This could be selfies with their lips puff lips puffed out lips, excuse me puffed out okay this could also be booty pictures doesn't matter what it is if they're actively seeking attention okay that's showing that hey i'm open for business i want people to talk to me i'm opening myself up to being vulnerable to potentially being seduced see that's what you have to understand guys don't understand this women don't typically take responsibility for the outcomes that happen that leads them down that rabbit hole of a potential date a potential interaction or potentially sleeping with a guy they'll wake up and go oh it, it, wasn't my fault. One thing's led to a next and all of a sudden here we are and it, we had a great experience. That's just how it works. Okay. So the first is in her brain, her hypergamy radar is basically telling her that she can do better. Number two. Okay. If she can do better, number two, what you got to realize is she is making herself susceptible to potentially being approached. And number three, there was probably a past lover that she on a deep down level desires more than you. Those are the three things you have to know. If you are entered into an exclusive relationship with a woman and you have closed off seeing with or seeing other women or sleeping with other women, but she has, has not closed off access to attention, okay, the things she's posting, the way she's seeking that attention, you need to start to pull back and to ignore her, okay? The reason being is because you're going to save yourself time, energy, and headache. But stay with me to the end of this to part two, because I'm going to show you how to avoid this from the get-go. And it's very important that you stay, okay? Because this is a super important topic. This right here, not spotting this, will lead to massive destruction. And I'm going to explain why later. Here's what you have to know, though. Guys who fundamentally understand MBT, okay, masculine behavioral techniques, can see this from a mile away. 
which means after this video is over, when I show you part two to this, I want you to go down below and I want you to register for the MBT broadcast that I put together. I just reshot this last week. Okay, this is probably the best 60 minute training on MBT that I have ever put together. You're going to be seeing exact step by step processes that any man can copy paste into his life to make talking to women easier and to start to attract the type of women that he wants. So be sure 100% when this video is over to go and check that out. But nevertheless, what is part two to this? Okay, part two. Okay, how to stop this from a mile away or how to spot this from a mile away. Here's what you have to understand. Okay, this is going to sting. Most men out there today in the world are 99 percenters. What's a 99 percenter? A 99 percenter is a guy who typically has weak behavior. He feels he's a victim. He's not aggressively tackling life when it comes to his career, his job opportunities, his business, his gym life. Okay. And he doesn't keep himself his own mental point of focus. He's constantly putting girls up on the pedestal and he's constantly thinking how he can please them instead of please himself day to day by tackling obstacles and creating success for himself. Okay. That's what you got to realize. Most guys are 99 percenters, which means most men are not one percenters. And if that's true, most women don't actually have experience what it's like dating a true high value man. I know that you want to think that they do. I know that you want to tell yourself, oh, it's easy for every single girl out there to go pull some Chad, okay, or uh, some some jacked dude, and it might be to some degree, depending on how open they are for options or how easy it is for them to get those options, but here's what you got to remember. It's hard for women to find guys that they're actually attracted to. There's a, there's a sea of guys in their inbox. They don't want a lot of them, okay, so it's, it's actually hard for them because they're not wired the same way where they like access to tons of options. They want to find one specific guy who fits the frame. Okay. Here's what you got to know. The way to stop this from happening is you have to have solid masculinity and you have to be centered in your masculine frame to set the precedent going into the relationship. See, here's what you have to know. If you don't set the precedent and the expectations prior to dating, she doesn't know what you want or ultimately what you will and won't put up with. And see, this is the problem that guys have when they date women is it's all based on short-term attraction. It's based on lust Okay, it's based on how quickly they can sleep together. And then just because they start sleeping together and they think that there's attraction, they automatically think that they're compatible and that they're on the same page. This is not true. Write this down in a notebook. This is not true. Okay, just because you have attraction with the woman in the beginning doesn't mean that you're compatible. But not only that, as a man, if you're centered in your masculinity, fundamentally at heart, you are a leader. It is your job and it is your responsibility to be a leader. I told you I wasn't going to beat around the bush and I'm going to deliver you the truth. Comment the word truth below. If you feel it's your duty to be a leader, comment the word truth below. Okay. If you're centered in your masculinity and you're leading, that means you're going to lead that frame and you're going to lead the expectations and you're going to set the precedent for how that relationship is ran. Okay. That way, if there's disagreement on her end, when you start dating her, you can say, okay, it looks like this isn't a fit. You can dissolve the issue in the beginning before a shit storm arises three months, six months, 12 months, 18 months in advance. The longer I coach men, the longer I, I do this on YouTube, the more I just see there's a general, there, there, there's an overall level of incompetent men. There's a level of men where they only lead life with emotion. They're constantly looking for short-term lust. And because of that, they can't think properly. And they can't think properly because women are literally their universe. Women are literally their world. All they think about and all they care about is who that girl is with and if they can get her. And I'm going to tell you this, until you get on your purpose, until you actually start building things for yourself, and yes, I'm, co I'm coming from the standpoint of a creator, creation, okay? Until you hit that paradigm in life as a man where you're creating. I don't care if you're creating experiences with people. I don't care if you're creating a business for yourself. I don't care if you're creating opportunities. I don't care if you're creating a new workout routine for you to go and bust PRs in the gym. I don't care until you start getting centered on your purpose and you come from a standpoint of creation, it's going to be extremely hard to be centered in your masculinity because you're going to be in life every single day instead of above it. And when I say above it, you have to be looking to the future of what you're building. When you get sucked into the weeds, okay, when you get sucked into drama, you're susceptible to low level conversation. Okay. You get sucked into arguing. You get sucked into that low level behavior. You will not win. So ignore women 
Okay, ignore the girl that you're dating and start to dissolve that relationship. Okay, if you have closed off options on an intimate level, but she has not closed off attention, you need to run because she is testing you. And ultimately, she doesn't feel that you're the best that she can do. And that's why she's still open for business. If you like this video, go down below, watch that webinar. I just reshot it last week. Some of the best work I've ever created. I'm in flow in that. I deliver cold, hard truths. I make sure that you guys get the exact necessary steps that you need to make talking to women easy. And because of that, I know what it's like because at one point I was a nerd who had massive social anxiety and couldn't even talk to anybody. Now I can get in front of a camera and talk to 330,000 of you that are subscribed to this channel. Hit that like button. We'll see you tomorrow.